Bonjour! Hi! Welcome to my photography channel. I am an OM system ambassador and I post videos every Sunday about gear, tips and tricks. So for this week's video, I was thinking I would do a little bit of a review about my new ball head. I know, right? I, I told you I hate tripod. So what am I doing with a ball head? Well, um, I'm going to explain why uh, I got this. So let's get started. So yes, I did a thing a few weeks ago. My bow head died on me. It was actually pretty old, it was nearly kind of given to me. I bought it for very cheap from a friend of mine and uh, I just needed to replace it. And after doing some research, um, well, okay, a lot of research, not just some research. I did a lot of research and I talked to uh, a few friends to see what they liked what they would recommend and that's why I decided to go with uh, the Platy Ball. I actually was pretty lucky because uh, they had a few available. It's a new product so it's kind of a little bit harder to get. It comes in a really really nice box with a little bit of protection. So here we go, that's the uh, ball head. Taking everything with it. Uh, it is really nice. It's very, very uh, slick and it comes with uh, this. It's a little protector if you want to take your bull head and uh, take it uh, with you uh, on in the field. So that is really, really nice. Uh, and here you have, uh, that's also super nice that are including uh, this is uh, if this doesn't fit on your uh, tripod. If you have a tripod, then uh, you can get a different uh, screw. So super nice of them to do that because usually it's kind of, you have to buy a lot when you want to buy those. So very, very nice. So as you can see, it's a little bit different from the other ball head, actually very different. They said that their concept is uh, to invert uh, the uh, ball head. And I thought, oh, that's really neat. You know, I like how uh, kind of it's a little bit of square, which is strange. And what I love is that those uh, knobs are gone. I hated the knobs on all the other uh, ball heads because it's just very cumbersome. In the winter, I have my gloves. I don't know what I'm doing. And sometimes you hear that clumps and you're like, oh, I didn't fasten it enough. Uh, this is very, very, a very different concept and I thought it was very interesting. And I actually already had bought uh, one of their products, which is uh, the Platypod. And that's actually the tripod I bought with me when I went to Europe. So <laughs> this is it. That's, that's my tripod, guys. So <laughs> not much to carry and super, super light. That's the... Uh, ultra but they have two other models that are bigger but for me i just love this one and it comes with uh, some feet here so you know again it's not much and uh, here we go you can just uh, screw them here so if you need um, this part you can it's going to be very secure or you can do the opposite, you know. So if I wanted the platypod to stand a little higher here, that's what I would do. I would just screw those four uh, feet right here on the table. Pretty simple. You can also tie this to a tree, to a post. So if you need a little bit more height, then uh, you have it. Does that replace a tripod? Well, no, it doesn't for everybody. Most of the time it does for me because I do macro and my subjects are very low to the ground. So this is perfect. Uh, but when I was in France, there were a few times where I really needed a tripod. I needed that height and I didn't have like a post or I, I didn't have a tree where I could tie it. So unfortunately, yes, there are a few photos I missed, but they were mostly, you know, landscape and I'm, I'm not a landscape photographer. So for me, 
yay, this is the kind of tripod I like. And uh, you need to have a ball head. And so this is actually pretty heavy. Uh, I like things light, but I guess you can't really have light things with uh, the ball head. And so that's how it works. It goes on top of your platypod. It can also go on top of your tripod if you have a tripod. And what's pretty neat too in their design is here. You can just uh, clip it. You know, I have a lot of carabiners, so I could clip this to my bag if I wanted. And then I have this to protect it if I don't want it, to, you know, to, uh, uh, to have some scratches because I fall everywhere I go. So that's very, very useful. So let's talk about a few spec on uh, this uh, platy ball. First of all, it's called the Ergo. Uh, it costs uh, $2.99 right now, which is, I mean, it's not bad for a ball head. Uh, I mean, there are some ball heads that are way more expensive out there. In terms of dimensions, uh, it's a 5.1 times 2.9 times 2. Uh, inches, so 130 times 75 times 50 millimeter. The weight is one pound five ounces, so about 595 grams. Uh, the diameter of the bow head is 35 millimeter, and it can hold up to 22 pounds or 10 kilos, so a lot. I mean, that is plenty. And here uh, it fits. Arca Swiss plates. It actually comes with an Arca Swiss plate uh, that I'm using right now. So that's why it's not on there, but uh, they have their own Arca Swiss plate that comes in the box. Now, as I said, mine is called the Ergo, but there is another design that's called the Elite. And my friend Lehigh actually has the Elite. It's bright red, looks really fancy. If you are interested to know a little bit more about it, I'm gonna put Lee's video right under so you can uh, you can check what he thinks about uh, the Elite. But for me, it's fine. Uh, I, I didn't feel like I needed uh, that little extra and plus it saved on weight as well. So I went for the Ergo. So now let's see how it works. Uh, you can see here, it's ready to accept a camera. I'm just gonna take my camera. I didn't put a lens on. So be careful because it's going to slide. And what you do is um, you can see here, just slide it here. And now it is secure. See, no problem. So just with this press of the button and here we go. Release, put it in, oops, put it in, slide it, and here we go very easy. What I really like is here you have a little wheel and if you turn it now you can pan and then you can just fix it here and now you cannot pan. So very simple to engage or not the panning. I think it's going to be great for bird photography too. Very easy. I can just shoot and then uh, oops, start the panning process. So that's really nice. And then I can just, oops, uh, let me check, tie it. It's the other way around. I still need to get accustomed to it a little bit more. And uh, now how do you, you know, move your camera? Well, those two uh, button here, this is, you have a little thing that says locked and unlock. So here, if I want to move it, this is what I do. I just press, and the first one is going to be very hard, and you're going to be like, it's not working. Yeah, that's the first, the first one is hard, and then, here we go. And what's great is that, look at that, see, you can just do it on the side. You don't have anything restrict, restricting you, so that's pretty neat here. Here we go, great. Very, very easy. And then once you set up your shot, here we go. I'm very happy with this. Here, the top button, you're just gonna lock it. So you just press and then you're gonna feel it. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna go anywhere. So unlock, lock. I mean, <laughs> how easy is this? I feel like, you know, when I'm gonna have my big gloves uh, in the winter, I can do that, that's not a problem. 
Uh, so actually, yes, I might be gloves in the winter. Even right now in New Hampshire, I should have my gloves. It's quite cold. So I hope this video was informative. And uh, thank you so much again for supporting my channel. If you are already a subscriber, if you are not a subscriber, please make sure to click the subscribe button. Make sure that you click the bell. You know, hit the like button as well. That really helps me. That encourages me to continue what I'm doing and to post more contents for you guys. And I cannot wait uh, for this week uh, chat uh, in the comment. Let me know what uh, what are you using? What is what tripod are you using? Are you using a, a platypod? Uh, have you heard of this product, the platyball? Do you have one? Do you use it? What are you thinking about it? Uh, and uh, it would be, I think, a fun discussion. And until next week, happy shooting. Au revoir.